right, so um, guys, it uh, it freaking happened. Uh, Alabama got their asses handed to them on the field, and uh, you know I know I'm smiling and all, but um, you know I'm just smiling to keep from crying. But real talk, I'm not really one of those fans that's gonna get so into the game that I'm legitimately gonna cry. I mean. You know, like, and it's not about cockiness, not about, you know, like, the fact we've won championships for, we've lost championship games for, I mean, you know, this game still isn't as heartbreaking as the 2016 game when Clemson beat us last minute, but, um, you know, like, it's going to be a little clickbaity, it's going to save reaction, but really, I just want to say, you know, Clemson deserves this title more than we do. Because, I mean, they, they came out, they wanted it more. Like, you know, you heard during the game, several of those seniors on the defensive side of the ball stayed to win that title. So, you know, they clearly worked their asses off for it. And, you know, we can't expect to win a game, like win the championship game when we come out looking flatter than Miley Cyrus's ass, you know. So we really cannot expect to win it. You know, we shot ourselves in the foot early, got behind early, and, you know, we just – you know, we fell flat like Tom Brady's footballs. I mean, that's just, you know, how it goes. But, um, you know, uh, I'm about to record a versus episode now, which is going to include a one-hour timer, my three-way versus against Drakir and Z. You know, I'm probably going to put that up pretty, pretty early in the morning. But, you know, I just kind of wanted to be one of the first fans to, you know, get a video out there on the Alabama Clemson game. Again, you know, Clemson to Clemson, congratulations to your fans, congratulations, and to all those seniors that, you know, went out with a bang, you know, obviously wanted our team to win, our seniors to go out with a bang, but, you know, just not how it went, you know, and Clemson wanted it more. Trevor Lawrence, I truly believe that you're going to be potentially, you know, one of the great future quarterbacks in the NFL, and I believe, you know, you're only a freshman, you're only going to get better, you know, so, you know, I see a Heisman in your future, I do, um, Tua, you know, just, you know, to me, like, to you, don't let this game define you, you know, you're still a hell of a quarterback, you're still possibly one of the greatest if not already the greatest quarterback in Alabama football history so don't let this game get you down you know all the Alabama players all the Clemson players you know you know all these seniors are leaving you know obviously I wanted the you know, guys like Damian Harris or Josh Jacobs to go out with a title before they left you know Anthony Jennings you know Raquan Davis I mean you know it's just not how it went you know it went in Clemson's favor I Clemson, let me tell you, that's one hell of a defense. Brett Venables, you came out with probably the best playing defense I've seen uh, in a college game, which yesterday in the pros I saw another great playing game with the Chargers defensive coordinator, you know, running three safeties at linebacker to stop Lamar Jackson. I thought that was genius. This was genius too, you know. You, you really just, you know, Clemson, like, you did what other teams in the past have not been able to do. You held on to a lead. You stayed aggressive even with the lead. And, you know, you didn't get too conservative. So, again, I just have to say, you know, congratulations, Clemson. Um, you know, as an Alabama fan, you know, I'm still going to have to endure the whole, oh, you're a bandwagon. You probably cried after this loss. You're probably going to be a Clemson fan next year. No, I'm not. I'm not a bandwagon. I'm from the state of Alabama. I mean, come on, the Crimson Tide represent my state. Why wouldn't I go for the team that represents my state? You know, obviously you can make a case for Auburn, but I'm not a bandwagon. I'm not one of those guys from Alabama that switches between Alabama and Auburn, which honestly I don't see a lot of. But, you know, obviously I'm still an Alabama fan. I'm still going to, even if we went 0-12, I would still support my Crimson Tide. I mean, I still support my Miami Dolphins, and, you know, they're freaking hot garbage. Like, I think you could take a team of freaking Kanye Wests and put them out there, and they'd play better than the Dolphins, you know. Shit, a team of Kanye West could play better than Alabama did tonight, you know, and I hate to rag on my team, 
but you know, I mean, you know, all the t guys that hate Alabama, you know, you guys can take this video and you can enjoy it, you know. Hey, an Alabama fan suffering, you know, but I'm really not suffering. This loss isn't going to be one that gets me down all the way until next football season. I still believe we'll come back. I believe we'll see another Clemson Alabama game next year, but we'll have to see what happens, you know. You know, a lot of things could happen between now and then, but you know, Nick Saban, he's eventually going to get that seventh national title. He like I mean, it's eventually going to happen. So, you know, might as well get used to it, guys, and stay in for the and even after then, you know, Dabo Sweeney, hey, I mean, once Saban retires, if you want to go ahead and bring yourself down to Alabama and coach us up, you can. Because the dynasty wouldn't stop there. Because Dabo Sweeney is a heck of a coach. Or Kirby Smart from Georgia, you know, if you want to go ahead and bring yourself down here and coach Alabama when Saban retires, you know, I mean, come on, the dynasty would continue because those are still great coaches, you know. So, all I can say, you know, next year, you know, Expect Alabama to be more prepared, you know, and uh, shoot, series is even 2-2, two -two, so let's get that fifth game next year and see who wins this five-game this five game series, which, I mean, it, it could end up being a ten-game series. Who knows, I mean, you know, everybody else is tired of seeing Clemson, Alabama. Heck, I'm tired of seeing Clemson, Alabama somewhat. That doesn't mean, you know, I'm not I'm not tired of seeing great games. I don't want to see Alabama run through everybody, you know. Like, I don't. I, I want to see competitive games and shoot. Didn't see that tonight, but it was on the opposite, you know. So, like, this is a different thing, you know. Alabama, you know, getting whooped, getting their asses handed to them. It's a new thing. So, let's see how Nick Saban and that coaching staff gets us prepared. And once again... I'm going to go ahead and end it off. Congratulations, Clemson. There's going to literally be nothing in the description except for one word. And you'll see what it is if you check the description. Real American Studios out. Peace out, my homies.